Hey guys, welcome back to another online lesson. This is lesson 1.6. I'm going to talk some equivalent ratios today. No words to know, so we're just going to dive right into how to do this problem and what to look for. So first, let's talk unit rates. We're going to use unit rates to see if ratios are equivalent, which equivalent is just another way to say equal. So let's look at unit rates. Here I have two different ratios, 36 t-shirts in three boxes, six t-shirts in six boxes. And we're going to use unit rates to see are they equal. Remember, unit rates are always over one. So let's check it out. 36 t-shirts in three boxes. I'm going to do t's over boxes. Okay, 36 t's in three boxes. And we're going to use unit rates, so let's find that unit rate. We're going to put it over 1. So how do I get from 3 to 1? We're going to divide by 3. If we do it to the bottom, we have to do it to the top. Divide by 3. 36 divided by 3, I know, is 12. So the unit rate for the first ratio is 12 to 1. Let's see for the second ratio. We're going to do T's over boxes and I have six t-shirts in six boxes. So my t's is six, my boxes is six. We want this over one, so how do I get from six to one? Divide by six. And what do I do to the top? I divide by six as well. Six divided by six is one. So let's explore these unit rates. I see a unit rate of 12 to one, and I see a unit rate of one to one. Are those equivalent? No, they're not the same. So in this case, the unit rates are not equivalent, therefore the ratios are not equivalent. So when I answer this question is, are they equivalent? The answer is no. Why? Unit rates are different. Perfect. So. Compare unit rates, not the same, they're not equivalent. Let's look at the next one. Here I have 42 flowers in seven vases and 54 flowers in nine vases. So let's set it up word over word first. Flowers over vases. And I have 42 flowers in seven vases. Perfect. So that's my first ratio. Let's find its unit rate. Remember, I have to get it over 1, so how do I go from 7 to 1? Divide by 7. And if we do it there, we also have to do it here. Divide by 7. 40, I'm sorry, 42 divided by 7 is 6. Perfect. So the unit rate for the first one is 6 to 1. Let's try the second one. I'll do flowers over vases, and I have 54 flowers in nine bases. Let's check that unit rate. So we're going to put it over one. And we're going to divide by nine. Nine divided by nine is one. So we divide the top by nine. 54 divided by nine is six. So in this case, are the unit rates the same? Six to one? Six to one? Yes, they are. So in this case, are they equivalent? Yes. And if it says explain, just say unit rates are the same. Unit rates are the same. Okay. So just to summarize, to use unit rates to compare ratios, you take the two separate ratios, you find the unit rates. If the unit rates are the same, they're equivalent. If they're different, then they're not equivalent. Let's move on. Sometimes unit rates are difficult to find. So I'm going to teach you another skill. You can use equivalent fractions to see if they're equal. And let me erase this here. <clears throat> okay, good enough. All right. Determine if the pair of ratios or rates are equivalent. Explain your reasoning. Now I'm going to show you how to use equivalent fractions this time. Again, I use this when finding unit rate is difficult, like with this one. So here I have 
three free throws made out of seven attempts or nine free throws made out of 14 attempts. We just want to see, are these equivalent? I'm going to start word over word. Free throws over attempts. Notice I'm just using the first letter just to shorten it up. Free throws over attempts. So the first one is three free throws out of seven attempts. Now just to pause, can you see why finding the unit rate would be a little bit difficult with this one? Because you'd have to put it over one, divide by seven, then you'd be doing three to divided by seven. Kind of a, a wacky looking decimal, so this is where equivalent fractions is a whole lot easier. So here I have three to seven, okay, then I have nine free throws made out of 14 attempts. Keeping the free throw line, I'm going to put nine on top, and I'm going to put 14 on the bottom. So here I have my two different ratios. The first one, 3 to 7. The second one, 9 to 14. Now what I have to do is I have to see, can I do the same operations to get both the numerator and the denominator? Let me show you what I mean. How do I go from 3 to 9? Well, we're going up, so we know we have to multiply. And in fact, I know times 3. Okay. That works to get from there to there. But remember, what we do to the top, we have to do to the bottom. So, does 7 times 3 equal 14? No, it does not. No, it does not. So, therefore, are these equivalent? The answer is no. No. Not equivalent. And why? Because the fractions are not equal. Okay. These are not equivalent ratios. Why? Because the fractions, they're not equivalent. Let's try another example of this. Here I have a rather lengthy word problem, but it's just going to compare two ratios, I hope. Okay, determine if the pair of ratios or rates are equivalent, explain the reasoning. So, Selena is comparing the cost of two packages of DVDs. A package of six DVDs costs $90, okay? And a package of three DVDs costs $45. Are these rates equivalent? Explain your reading. Meaning, I'm sorry, reasoning. I don't know. Let's check it out. We're going to start with word over word. We're going to say DVDs over dollars. D, V, D over dollar. Okay. And we have six to 90. So we have six DVDs cost $90. Okay. Then I have three DVDs for $45. So I have three DVDs. Remember, I'm keeping all the DVDs on the same line. Dollar amount, this time is $45. Okay. Are these equivalent? Explain your reasoning. So let's look. How do I get from six to three? We're going down. Remember, we can only multiply or divide. So since we're going down, we know we have to divide. And how do I get from six to three? Divide by two. Okay, that works for the top. If it works for the bottom, we're golden. Let's see. 90 to 45, we know we have to divide by 2. So let's see if that works. Over to the side, I'm going to do 90 divided by 2. 2 goes into 9 four times. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract, we are at 1. We are going to drop that down. 2 goes into 10 five times. Ooh, looks pretty good. 2 times 5 is 10, subtract, we are at 0. So in fact, yes, it does work. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 90 divided by 2 is 45. So therefore, are these equivalent? The answer is yes. Why? Because the EC and the USE, the fractions, are the same. Yeah, 
mass. The fractions are the same. They're equivalent. Now, let's move. Here's one I want you to try on your own. I don't care if you use unit rates or if you use equivalent fractions. That's fine. So here we have three bagels, $3 for six bagels, $9 for 24 bagels. So what I would do is do dollar over bagel and then set it up. You can use unit rate if that's easier for you, or you could try using equivalent fractions, whichever way works. I also want you to try this one here. Jenny is comparing the cost of two packages of socks. One package has eight pairs of socks for $12. Another has three pairs of socks for $6. Are these rates equivalent? Explain your reasoning. I want you to try these two on your own. Bring them to class, and we'll talk about it.